time it is here. Dun, 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 over on the shop page. Look what we have. The Lion Knight's Castle Bundle. 2,500 V-Bucks. And guess what I have? Boom! Even cooler than the Lion Knight's Castle? Probably totally not. Queen Surge Creator Code. If you guys are going to be buying the Lion Knight's Castle or any of the other Fortnite kits or any skins, emotes, anything like that in the Fortnite item shop, be sure to use my code Queen Surge when you check out. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give me a little bit of a kickback of the purchase that you're already making. Now, I'm sure you're all here. Obviously, as the title and thumbnail suggest, to check out the Lion Knight's Castle Bundle. Boy, oh boy, right off the bat, I'm already seeing a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, it's looking like a pretty hefty pack. It's got 10 bills and 65 decor items. That's amazing. Um, my first thought is I wonder if this color matches the color palette that we already have for the castle stuff, because if it doesn't, I'm going to probably lose my mind. But I'm already seeing some amazing stuff. Let's go uh, at these from top to bottom, left to right. So the first one, we can see that we've got kind of like, uh, this almost looks like a Tudor style, but not quite with the beams and stuff. Um, a bit kind of rugged and very medieval. And we've got these yellow in, uh, like inset windows, little peephole things, I forget what those are called. Um, and some blue roofs with a dark wood trim. And this almost looks like maybe a horse stable or something for animal pens. Kind of useless right now because we don't have horses and can't hold animals, but <laughs> it looks very cool. This, wow, what a build. Very complex, it's got a lot going on. Okay, very cool. And you know, out of all of the, the builds, like the prefabs in LEGO Fortnite, this set, I don't know, maybe it's just the lighting or the imagery, but honestly, it looks the most like actual LEGOs. Moving on to the next one. Ooh, this is a big boy. This is a big boy castle. I love the little details like this. Little, uh, little balcony here. Wow, looks very cool. That's going to be fun to check out in game. We have this little tower here which looks very cool. I like the, the top bit poking out. Okay, not bad. We've got what seems to be like a okay gatehouse. It says up on top. Just read, queen. That's all you have to do, silly goose. Then we've got um, some more kind of towers. We'll just breeze through these. Seem like pretty small pieces that you can use to make like a wall and such and to kind of like build your own castle. So those are pretty cool. We've got a bunch of decorations here. Let's take a brief look into these. We're going to check them all out in game. Ooh, a new well. Oh, look at that skeleton. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just want to look at them all in such more detail, but we're not going to. We're going to make our purchase. Boom. Now, this is going to be a big one. Let's get into our sandbox world and let's check it out. And while we're loading in, if you guys are new here and you're not currently subscribed, please consider subscribing and sharing this video to get it in front of as many people's eyes as possible. As always, I really appreciate your guys' amazing support. So thank you. We're just gonna be building these in order, and it looks like the first one is the Nightly Wall. All right, and I've just walked into a bush. This is the single wall piece, not bad. It looks pretty good, this is interesting. And it looks like we've got a little walkway up here. And one thing I've noticed is we've got new little, I don't know what these are called. If you know what these are called, timestamp this moment and let me know in the comments so that I actually know what you're referring to, but let me know what these little ridges are called. I think that's where they shoot arrows from, isn't it? Next up, we have Nightly Wall Corner. All right, and here is our nightly wall corner. Next up, we have nightly wall stairs. Now these actually look pretty cool.
Okay, and there is our nightly wall stairs. This is a nice build. It's got a little bit more to it, but not too crazy. Now let's move on to nightly tower stairs. All right, that is the Nightly Tower Stairs. So far, they're looking good. Next up is the Nightly Tower. And there it is, the Nightly Tower. Next up, Nightly Gatehouse. Ooh. And there it is, the Nightly Gatehouse. It started raining just towards the end here, and I just waited for the night to be over, so this is fun. Um, this looks pretty cool. I wish the gate was actually movable, though, but it is still very cool. We'll check it out later, but... Oh, let's check out the back, because it's got the cool windows. Nice, that looks cool. Next up, we have the Knightly Royal Mage's Tower. And this is the Mage's Tower. I actually really, really like this. It's, maybe it's just me, but it is a bit jarring seeing like the wood and the white and the blue all up there when it's mostly stone throughout the whole thing, but I do really like it. And if we go, ooh, it's like you cannot control your character in creative. Um, up here is really nice as well. And I like how they utilized many different pieces to get this effect, which I thought it was just like one piece. So that is pretty cool. Now we're building the Nightly Small Keep. That was quite the build, but this is the Nightly Small Castle, I think this was called. Let's build the next one. This one is the Nightly Workshop. There it is, the Nightly Workshop. And the last item here is this Nightly Large Keep. And this thing is gigantic.
Well, I think we're done with the build, though it didn't give me the notification that we were done. Oh, look, a tree has grown through my build. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so this is the castle. Let's take a deep dive into each of the builds. So first, we've got a few builds here that look like they're for the wall. And I think it's these first three here. Yeah, we've got a corner, we've got a stairway, and just the regular wall pieces. So you can fit these together, piece them together to make a wall. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is these bottom pieces lining up because I still, I don't believe we're able to uh, clip or snap on, I suppose is the better term. I don't think we were able to snap uh, these next to each other. So in an instance like this, uh, I don't think it would be perfectly in line. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think we would have to put down, can you put these on top of a foundation? I have so many questions. Um, interesting concept, not sure it will be executed correctly. Then we've got this tower piece. Uh, and this is pretty cool, pretty standard. Uh, same with this, pretty standard. It's becoming nighttime. Okay, now moving up this tower here is pretty neat. Um, oh, <laughs> I got confused because it was right next to the other building. It's got two little things on the side. I just realized, oh, I think this is supposed to connect up to the wall here. So that is interesting, but I really like the little, um little gate oh i've leveled up again <laughs> i'm building so much in the lego fortnite it's just leveling me up like crazy um but yeah then we have this little area here where you can go connect with other stuff so not quite sure go away how that would work uh this one the mage tower we t uh we talked about this a little bit this one i don't really know i'm like have a love-hate relationship some of you will probably absolutely love this tower I don't really know. I feel like there's two styles here that aren't really supposed to be together, but maybe I'm just crazy. I do like this top area a lot, and the fact that this and both of these side pieces are all different, it really kind of showcases how you can put different pieces of the, you know, different pieces together to make something that looks uniform. And I think that's really cool. <laughs> Then next we have this little thing here. It's like a small castle. Um, let's take a look and see how it looks um, actually walking in. Ooh, okay. So yeah, I like, uh, oh, interesting. I was gonna, <laughs> we've got some rooms separated out. Okay. And then up here, ah, I love the yellow windows on the inside. I will say that is very nice. And we've got, this little tiny room, whoo, it's getting a little cramped. We've got a balcony, okay, nice. Let's go up some more. We have, okay, another balcony, good, good, good. Spot our enemies. And the top of the tower. You could do quite a bit with that, I suppose. Uh, next up we have this like workshop build and I really wish we had horses because this would be a perfect spot for horses. Oh, we could put hay back here. Oh, we need horses and hay. Epic Games. Um, this would be perfect for more storage and feed and gear for horses. And then <laughs> just in fantasy land, we don't have horses, queen. Get over it. Um, this is cool. This is definitely not a large space at all, but... Um, you could find stuff to do with this. We've got the big boy. Oh, and the trees are all taking over again. Okay, I think I have removed all the trees. Yes, it looks good. So let's take a little 360 view. Obviously, this is the most impressive one of them all. Um, we've got these cool little jut out windows here. I like this tower. That's very cool. I really like this as well. That's nice. The size doesn't feel too, you know, out of scale or anything. So it's really a nice tower design. I like this as well. It, yeah, it's a it's a very nice castle. Um, ooh, look at this little balcony, how cute. Okay, let's take a look here. Let's go inside. Oh my gosh, this is such a big castle. I like. I don't even know how we're gonna explore all the nooks and crannies. We'll definitely try. Um, 
yeah, it looks like we've just got little bits and stuff here. Like, uh, what would you even put in this with all the items in the game? I don't even know how you would fill this castle out. It's insane. Uh, <laughs> this is so cool. This does feel very grand up here. I like this a lot. And I love these, like this whole thing. That's amazing. Very nice. The yellow is a nice pop of color. So I would say this castle is my favorite build. I do like this little horse stables here. The mage tower is not too bad. I would probably adjust it if possible. And yeah, that one's not bad. Obviously these are for like walls and stuff. Not sure how usable those would be because you can't really like snap those like the prefabs on top of each other. So I don't know. Um, we do have some really great pieces here, especially like these and these. Okay, let's get into it. Furniture. <gasps> we do have regal bed. Very lovely. Thankfully, we, we definitely have been needing some new beds. I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, Knight's knitting table. This is so cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to really pay attention here because it's not giving us the little tabs to show us what's new. So if I miss something, I apologize. I'm doing this all off of my knowledge of what's already in the game, which is crazy. We literally don't have any new chairs, rip. We do have some new plumbing though. I saw it somewhere. Yeah, nightly privy. <laughs> it's a toilet. Is that all? We also have a nightly well, which for a moment, I'm just gonna put it next to this well so we can kind of take a look. Okay, it is a little bit bigger. Actually, I really like that. It's got more details, even though that one looks like it has water and this one doesn't, but it's got like a little bucket and a thing here. Okay, that one's better. The new well, in my opinion, is better. And then we got some crazy lights, brazier. I don't know what these are, but these are crazy. I've never seen nothing. Oh, these are like outdoor lighting things. Those are crazy. <gasps> and a wall torch. We need a wall. Okay, hold please. Okay, we got this one. Nice. And then we also have this one, which is larger. And we have a floor one, which is pretty cool as well. These are sick. Those are way better than the candle ones. I'm also very excited. We have these nightly florals. Finally, some new flowers, and those are adorable. They can just go along the edge. Oh, I love it. I swear I saw something else too. Yes, nightly bottle rack. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest thing I have ever seen. And another nightly bottle rack. <gasps> nightly potion rack, yes. Look at the little, the little skull and the potions. Oh my gosh. And this nightly bookshelf, which it has like new colors for these books. Sorry, it's raining, guys. I just realized I was getting literally so into these decorations I didn't even notice. Okay, but yeah, these look so adorable. I love these little shelves. Ooh, that's an interesting little touch. Let's continue on. So we've gone through all of these. Um, I don't think there was... Just kidding, there is... <gasps> Ooh, nightly barrel. What is this? What is this? If you hit, uh, if you have something, uh, nope. If you ha if you're on something and you hit Alt, it will tell you nightly barrel wardrobe. Okay, that is a nice little wardrobe, and ooh, it gives us ten slots. That's not bad. Moving on to decorations, the first thing I notice is a nightly toilet roll. I think this has to be hung up on something. Yes, it does. Look, we actually have an official toilet roll now. <laughs> we also have this bushel basket, night's drying rack, a well-packed crate. <laughs> These names are funny. Night double drying rack and a mop bucket. <gasps> we have some new rugs. Oh my gosh, look at this little tiny baby rug. That's adorable. Then we have this big nightly rug. Very cool. <gasps> No, they didn't. Okay, now I'm actually excited. We have three sizes of these rugs. Very cool. And then we have some other ones. We have this red rug. We have this one like this, which you could use to do... Wait for it. Something like this. 
they have given us the opportunity to make custom rugs with the red. <gasps> and we have this, which surely also is giving us plenty of opportunities to do custom rug stuff with, and this as well. <gasps> That's amazing. Custom rugs are in Lego Fortnite. That is awesome. Okay, moving along, we do have some more wall decorations. So I'm going to put down a wall so that we can take a look at them. So the first one we have is these, oh, it looks like we have some little banners. That's what they say they are, banners. And ooh, okay, these are pretty cool. These are like a crest or something. What does it say these are? Sigil? I don't know what that is. Ooh. <gasps> Is that not like for me? It's pink and it has a crown? Not me freaking out over this. This is like the perfect thing. Crown! These are going all over my village, every single village. Oh my gosh, that is literally, oh, that's insane. That's actually insane. That's like perfect. I can't believe it. <gasps> that's adorable. What is that like a little, little elk? That's sick. Some of these are really cool. And then some of these look like football or sports logos, but you know, <gasps> forge set. That is awesome. I've actually, I'm running out of space to hang all this stuff up. I need literally a third wall. That's crazy. Okay. We also have this holy crap masonry box. That's awesome. We've got another banner. That's a pretty large banner. And we've got this one as well. Honestly, thank God that's it, because I was just about completely out of room for anything else to put on a wall. Now, as far as clutter goes, I don't feel like we've gotten really anything new. Okay, we have this, which, you know, I mean, not really that new. Oh, we do have this. <gasps> mystery, mystery what? What is this? Regal mystery, ooh. Regal stationery, okay. We do have some good stuff. What is this? Oh, knitting? Very cool. I thought that was like bloody stuff. A spell book? That is awesome. That is awesome. And we have a castle. What is this? Castle model? Oh, that is awesome. That is so cool. I love that so much. No new plants, unfortunately. Please, Epic Games, give us new plants. I'm gonna lose my mind. Thank you, that is all. <gasps> okay, we're getting some serious stuff here. We have this, uh, a throned statue. Oh, it's a statue on a throne. Okay, kind of hard to tell uh, if you're not paying attention, but that is pretty cool. Okay, we have nightly weapon rack. These are interesting. What are these for? Mannequin mage? Hmm. Mannequin. Is that say peasant? It's a peasant. Ranger. Okay. Looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, but all right. We have a water yoke. I don't even know what a water yoke is. Nightly hitching post. They've got to be adding horses in, right? Like they've got to be a trough. Come on. You cannot tell me they're not going to be adding horses in with this. Long thing? Hitching post? Please. Give us horses. We deserve it. Alright guys, well I've l l quite literally almost completely exhausted myself out of excitement. I wasn't super excited, but honestly I think... Once we start getting into some custom builds with some of this stuff, it's actually going to be really insane. So I feel like... It's a really good pack. This is probably the best pack tree growing in my thing again. Uh, this is probably the best pack of all of them that we've been offered so far. Like it has the most decorations. Well, maybe, maybe not, but it has a lot of decorations and it's definitely got, I feel like the most builds and the most diversity and opportunity. So yeah, I would suggest if you're going to buy one of the packs, this would be the one. Unfortunately, it was also the most expensive one, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> but that's going to do it for today. Um, I took some suggestions from you guys and left the like time lapse of me building in. I don't know if that was preferable or not. You guys let me know. But 
other than that, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!